This is supposed to be an oxygen production system for around 240 duplicates. But uh, as you can see, it's kinda cold. So we are at minus 188, minus 190 degrees Celsius. The liquid down here is liquid oxygen, which we can then dump on a few poor and very frozen duplicates. You might have to heat it up so that you actually have oxygen in your room. So how does this work and is this a viable solution for your base? No, it is not a viable solution, but I can tell you how this works. We do have our door set up here to the left and to the right. I only cooled down these five metal tiles here and maybe the door to minus 220 degrees upwards. But not too cold because we don't want our oxygen to solidify. We only want it to liquefy. The temperature that we have here will be duplicated and put in different areas. Right here in the middle and here on top. And everything that touches one of the temp shift plates will also be cooled from the doors. We do have that on both sides and even down here for the liquid oxygen to keep it cool. Here on the top right we are feeding in the liquid water that will help us produce the oxygen. It is at around 27 degrees celsius and I just used the dev pumps for that. I also limited the output of the pumps to exactly what we are using up here. This is the piping. All those bridges are for temperature transfer, not for the liquid to move around in. We do have a lot of those, same for the gas, same for the conveyors and even for the power. Because we do need a lot of heat transfer in this thing to keep it cold in every important place. That's why we also have a lot of temp shift plates. They are hard to see, but if I switch to minerals you should be able to see them. I build this out of material that everyone can have. The best stuff I'm using is ceramic and the temp shift plates are just out of granite. Nothing special. Since the temperature here is so low, in our case, like I said, around minus 190 something degrees, the oxygen that is produced will immediately turn liquid and drop down. We will be using that dropped oxygen first to cool the electrolyzers, but they are cooled anyways because of the super cold room and then it will accumulate down here. The pumps are controlled by this hydro sensor, which is just set to above 100 kg, then suck up the liquid oxygen and transport it away. As you can see I also used automation wire bridges for temperature transfer here. The next thing that you might notice is that we do have some robo miners here. The robo miners are necessary because since I am only using the ceramic piping some of the water that is stored inside of the electrolyzers will turn solid, form blocks and stop the electrolyzer from producing more oxygen and hydrogen. Yes this is suboptimal but I just wanted to build a setup like this which is super cold and drops your oxygen in a liquid form. As for the hydrogen, you can see the whole room is hydrogen. It is low pressured on the top and higher pressured down below with just 1.1 or 1.2 kilograms per tile here and around 500 to 900 grams in the top part. The pumps are controlled by a simple automation, just some end gates and some gas element sensors that pick up the hydrogen. So as soon as both of these tiles are hydrogen, the pumps will activate, suck up the hydrogen and transport it to our area where we burn it off. Which is this here. A giant area that I massively overestimated. You can make this smaller. And um, yeah, the piping isn't very good. The automation is just two cables. One hooked up to the smart battery to the left and one hooked up to the smart battery to the right. First one activates at 9080 and the second one activates at, at 90 and 70. As for the power grid, everything here is connected. But the pumps, the pumps are on this large power transformer. So they are the last thing that deactivate. We want the pumps to run the longest. And that's basically the whole thing. You need to cool this down a long time for this to work because all the material that you will put in needs to be cooled down. Everything needs to connect somehow. You don't want any warm spaces. But once this is cooled you get a lot of liquid oxygen which is very handy. And everything is cooled down just by these few metal tiles that you have to cool down once. You can use a thermoregulator or any aqua tuner setup for that that can cool this down to the desired temperature. It is easier with a thermoregulator because you can use hydrogen and cool it down to around 240 and then turn the thing on. Maybe cool it a little bit after that. And be sure to cool everything to the right and to the left. Now let me switch to all the overlays. Thank you for watching, love you guys and see you on the main channel.